Okay, so what we're going to learn today is how to create a golden layer style so that you can apply it to text and shapes. Now, first thing you want to do is create a new image, and I'm just going to use the preset 640 by 480, and I'm just going to adjust this so uh, I can fit there, zoom in, and now I'm just going to fill the background color with black using the paint bucket tool, and just like that. And now just using the text tool, I'm going to switch the foreground color to a yellow. It could be any type of yellow, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to, using the font impact, size 120, I'm just going to type in love to help. Give that a tick, and then position that just where we want it. Now what we want to do is right click and select blending options. Now the settings we want to use here is out of glow, uh, blend mode, change to normal. The opacity we want to set to 100. Color we want to set to a bit darker orange. And change the size to about 9 pixels. Uh, the contour we want to select this one here. Now we want to select bevel and emboss next. And we'll just change the depth to 1000. The pixels 4. Uh, leave that, change this contour here. Then select satin and we want to change this to about 16. Change the contour to this option here. Then we want to select stroke. Now we just want to select one pixel and just change the color to a yellowy type color, hit OK. And that's giving us that effect. Now, if you're not sure about the colors, you can you can go in and change them a bit. So I'm just going to hit OK on that. Well, before I hit OK, you just want to save the new style. And you just want to save it as something as like golden style. And then hit OK. I'm just going to hit Cancel because I've already saved it. OK, now, so I'm going to hit OK there. Now, so that's given us the text there. We can position that down. Now, we can create a new layer and then right click on that layer, select Blending Options, and then select Styles. And then this is the style that you would have saved. So just select that, hit OK. Now, that's applied. Now, whatever shapes you put on there, if you use the Custom Shape tool, um, as long as the color is a goldy type color, it will automatically make it a golden shape. So you can use this pretty much for anything and you get that effect. So I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.